special guests in the studio with us right now. We have three of them. Mary Faith, hi. Hi. And also Amy McGorry. Hello. How are you? And then uh, somewhere (laughs) over there is the star of the show, Marty. 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 Yeah. Yeah. cute. Tell our listeners what Marty is. Marty is a facility dog. And the best way I can describe it is by what his puppy raiser told me. Oftentimes when they're raising these puppies, they're raising them as service dogs, which means that they're supporting one individual, which is wonderful. But she, And she said that was always the gold standard that you wanted to raise a service dog until she realized that a facility dog touches so many pa- people, patients, families, mm-hmm. and as Amy said, staff. And so Marty's job is to be there for whoever needs him. And that his day-to-day work is just making people happy. And as I told you before, he's an equal opportunity lover. He's looking <laughs> for somebody to love on right now. Yeah, he's over there somewhere. I yeah. mean, yeah, everybody get a little. And you gave us all uh, Marty trading cards here, which, uh, fun fact, I love crushed ice. He loves <laughs> crushed ice. And fortunately, the hospital has that really good, like I like to call it, sonic ice. Yeah. Oh, how oh, good. Uh, tell us a little bit about Canine Comfort and what they do at Children's Hospital. Okay. Um, I'm going to speak from my perspective because Marty's at Liberty Campus. He was the first um, facility dog out there. He's also inpatient and outpatient. So he sees patients um, who are doing procedures inpatient. Um, Sometimes we have some long-term patients that just need some normalization for their day. And then other times he's going from procedure to procedure. So if you can think about an EEG, they have to have multiple leads put into their head and on their body. And sometimes it's just not, it takes 15 to 20 minutes and that's hard for a kiddo to sit still. Marty will lay on, lay on them and they can sit and talk to Marty or do, um, he likes to shake and (laughs) do boop. And so he's there, um, with them doing that. And it's just, it takes all this stress out of it for the patient. Yeah. He kind of walks in the room and it just eases yeah. yeah and, and yeah. not only for the patient but also the family members that are there and also the staff mm-hmm. i mean the staff are like oh good you know yeah he's here yeah it's gonna go better mm-hmm. so he you know i always say he does what everybody wants to do because he can get up in bed and comfort a patient we can't do that yeah you know but he can and it's just so unconditional it's like you're here i'm here yeah, most kids are probably like with a person, get out of my bed. But when, <laughs> when Marty or one of the other dogs gets in there, they're like, hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scoot right over. And right? I didn't know what his reception would be because um, we hadn't had a facility dog in the area that I work in. And I would say I've he's been here over a year, and there's just been two patients that – didn't want to see him, and one was because he wanted a little dog. Uh-huh. And Marty's Marty's not little, and the other one was just not having it. So, yeah. you know, everybody else is just um, really content when he walks by. Maybe get a couple of cats. <laughs> no. Try those out for some of those. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. <laughs> they never do what you want them yeah. to anyway. Yeah. Now, Marty yeah. doesn't collect a paycheck when he's working, but he does cost a lot to keep up because in a most sterile environment, you got to keep him clean on the regular Uh, What are some of the costs that accrue of having a facility dog? Well, Marty has two what we call landing spots. And in those landing spots, he has a crate Mm. um, in both of them because he can't be with us always. But as part of my contract to have him, he has to be in a safe environment. So if I'm not in there, I have to put him in a crate. He also has a bed, you know, beds in both places. Mm -hmm. We have his kibble, which you know, his food to eat. And then um, he gets a monthly medication as a heartworm and whatever the other one is. I don't know. Next garden, heart guard. Yeah. And then, <laughs> um, you know, that um, day-to-day maintenance. Mm-hmm. And we, um, each of us established ourselves with a vet. So they have consistent vet visits. We also um, need to make sure that they are in the right weight mm. frame. They can't get larger than they are and so we have to make sure that we're maintaining their their weight well and just grooming is you know a big like you said big thing one of the things that we just started doing was um using some uh paw clean cleanser oh you know it's like what like a little mm. paw to cure yeah sanitizer yeah. for the paw <laughs> yeah, paw yeah. yeah. I love it. yeah. And I that, like that. but that also brings up because we do have everybody wash their hands we carry around he's got one in his vest um, Purell, so that, pe- you know, people are able to wash their hands before they 
um, pet with him. So. And then afterwards, but I, that's a, you want people to wash before petting uh-huh. them. That's yeah. it's, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, I think that's what we're asking our B105 listeners to do is help cover some of those costs so you could keep doing the good work that you're doing. Uh, why should people donate? For me, I think it's because it's such um, like almost a magical thing. When you're walking into, I, I walk around with Marty and people are like, there's a dog. <laughs> you know, and if you think about it, that helps normalize. You know, we are a scary place, but if, if that dog's allowed in here, that's probably a pretty good thing. Mm-hmm. And then it just makes the the visit go so much easier on everybody. So I think, um, you know, we always want things to go better. A big part of Amy's and my job is to make sure that we're per- helping a child have the least amount of stress that it can have yeah. from what can be very, very stressful. And, you know, we can walk into a room, but we kind of have to explain ourselves a little bit. Hi, I'm Mary Faith. This is yeah. what I do. Marty walks into the door and owns the room. He's, he mm-hmm. just, the rock star. Yeah. He's yeah. just there. <laughs> and so, you know, it allows you to do so much more. And it also allows you to connect with staff in a different way. So it's just, it's been, I always like to say, Marty's my dog, but Liberty <laughs> thinks he's theirs. Yeah, <laughs> so if anybody sure. that li- works out there, they're like, I can take him home tomorrow. No. Yeah. Okay. Well, but, in order for this program to continue to grow, you, you, you know, to buy these dogs, you, and you need to maybe offset the cost and the things, and that's why we're encouraging people to donate. So maybe the money that you have already, you can use towards the other dogs and not have to worry about the upkeep mm-hmm. of the current ones you have. Yeah. Yes. So um, I'm asking Amy here, so what are some of the things you would need? What are some of the big needs for the dogs and you guys too? So I would just reiterate what Mary Faith said. I think she covered it all as far as maintenance and um, vet vet bills because, you know, there are unexpected trips to the vet as well. And we have to keep these dogs healthy. And it's it's just great to know that those things are taken care of so we can continue to grow the program because – yeah, it's it is a gift, and it's just um, it's just wonderful to have them here as part of our work and to help support these patients and families who are going through some pretty tough times yeah. being yeah. in the hospital. Yeah. Now, Amy, you had mentioned earlier that you do like a story time with mm-hmm. another one of the dogs, Chevy. Yes. So not only could our listeners, you know, go in and try to donate something towards the dogs, it could even be like a book. That goes to yeah. that story time. Oh, that's a great you idea. Just yeah. Amy's heart. I love, oh. that's right. <laughs> I love that idea. Yeah. Books are always welcome. And and it's just, it's so fun to do a story time. And I try to select books that are, you know, meaningful and appropriate for the kids. And so often they have a dog featured in the story. So it's really fun to um, include that. But I love that idea. Well, well before we let you go, I want one great moment, a story of uh, that you made a difference in a child's life. Sure. Um, there is a procedure that was new to me and I've been at the hospital a long time. So to have a procedure be new to me is pretty amazing. And it's called IB STEM. And uh, I, a nurse had reached out to me and said, what's the chances we can have Marty there? I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what was going to be expected of Marty. So we went in and practiced beforehand and the doctor said to me oh it's a good thing you're coming now because i just started liking dogs six weeks ago I'm like <laughs> absolutely but um because it's it's a fairly painful um procedure for kiddos they're putting a stimulator in their ear and you know like the first for a while it i think there's like maybe seven spots that they put that stimulator in but oh. don't quote me and the patient that they'd asked me to come with they said she just had had been devastated the past two times that she had it and then marty came and she looked at the doctor she's like are you done (laughs) i mean she it wasn't wow she didn't even realize that's amazing yeah what a difference Hmm. yeah and so marty followed her i think she had seven um treatments so he did the last five with her amazing yeah yeah so that was pretty cool well we're so glad you guys came in today. Thank you. And we're so happy that we can help shine a spotlight on what you guys are doing at Cincinnati Children's. I mean, one of the leading children's hospitals in the nation. And now I think you're blazing a trail <laughs> uh, with the, what's Marty doing over there. Marty, you're, we're, you're blazing a trail with Marty, Chevy and the rest of the gang. Yeah. So uh, we're so grateful that we can help you guys out. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's Thank you pleasure. for having us. Yep.